Do you recycle? For sure, absolutely. Absolutely, everything I possibly can. For decades, we've been told. Recycle America, don't just throw it all away. Because recycling will save the planet. You're saving the earth. And that's what people believe. We have to do it for the kids, for the next generation. This will all be back on the shelf as a cracker or cereal box in about four to five weeks. This recycling company is run by Lynn Hoffman. If we're not using recycled paper and cardboard, we're cutting down more trees. Recycling paper and cardboard does save trees. Recycling aluminum does save energy. But most of the other stuff is impractical to recycle. That's right. This is material that came in to the recycling facility from people's recycling carts and is gonna leave as trash. Huge amounts of what people send to her recycling plant will never be recycled. The worst is plastic, which for years has been marked with the recycling symbol. We see stuff like this all the time. Recycling arrows on it, please recycle. It's not recyclable. Even worse, plastic bags clog the recycling machines. You have to climb in for a couple hours every day and cut them out with the box cutter. But people think most of our plastic is recycled. Yeah, I do think so. Is it not? You're gonna tell me it's not? <laughs> that's, what, that's the trick? The reality is that... The amount of plastic actually recycled is around 5%. Wow. I figured there was something coming, but I'm, I'm, I'm shocked right now. I didn't know. It's sad. All my life, I've heard about how important it is to recycle. It's not. Science writer John Tierney debunked recycling claims years ago. His New York Times Magazine story, Recycling is Garbage, set a record for Times hate mail. And yet, what you said is still true? It's even more true today. In fact, the economics have just gotten worse. Now, my city would save more than $300 million a year if it just stopped recycling. Recycling is an industry that's using increasingly expensive labor to produce materials that are worth less and less. Because it's not worth recycling here, much is shipped overseas to countries like Malaysia, where it's just piled up. A vast field of plastic, two stories high. Some of it from America. Let's see if we can look on the back here. Marysville, Ohio. Look, Walmart bag. They just dumb here and then they burn it. That pollutes even more. And what they don't burn, they sometimes dump in the ocean. One garbage truck of plastic is dumped in the sea every minute. Barely any of that plastic comes from American shores, so. <laughs> if you care about saving Flipper, you should put your plastic bottle in the garbage. The garbage? But then it would go to a landfill. And aren't we running out of space for landfills? I'm sure we are. People believe that because for years the media said, we've about run out of places to throw away our throwaways. They think that because years ago there was so much publicity about this barge. A symbol of this country's growing problems with trash. The barge traveled thousands of miles looking for a place to dump its load. But it wasn't because there wasn't room. States turned this barge away because alarmist media scared people about what it contained. It could be infectious waste. Dripping brown ooze of possibly infectious material. We don't know what kind of tropical vermin is in that garbage. The EPA later found it was normal garbage. And landfills had plenty of room for it. Today they have more space than we'll ever need. If you think of the United States as a football field, all the garbage that we will generate in the next 1,000 years would fit inside a tiny fraction of the one-inch line. Really? Oh, that's surprising. On top of that, today's landfills are not the polluters they once were. Some sensible regulations make sure they don't pollute. Eventually, landfills are turned into <laughs> ski hills, parks, and golf courses. Putting garbage here is much cheaper than recycling. So why do towns keep pushing recycling? They do it because people demand it. It's a sacrament of the green religion. I rinse my cans, I take my labels off. If there's plastic on that something that's paper, I take the plastic piece off of it. That's fine if they want to do it voluntarily, but we shouldn't mandate that. It's not my religion. I don't want to perform that sacrament. I don't want to either. It's time consuming and complicated. My city orders us follow all these rules. And that's one of the reasons recycling fails is because it's so complicated, people never learn the rules, and why should they be spending their free time learning these rules? Worse, lots of what we do is pointless. If you rinse a, a plastic bottle in hot water, 
The net result is more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere than if you threw it in the garbage. Even Greenpeace said most plastics simply cannot be recycled. So what's Greenpeace's solution? Let's stop producing it. You're saying don't use plastic at all. Ban plastic. I think that's where we're headed. No more plastic? But plastic often creates less emissions than alternatives. Environmental groups rarely mention that or how they misled us about recycling for years. It's appalling that after telling people for three decades to recycle, they don't even apologize for all the time and money that they've wasted. Instead, they have an even worse proposal that will make life even worse and will be even more expensive. One time-consuming dream of theirs is a circular economy where everything is reused. If you're running out of laundry detergent, you could take your jug back to the store and fill it up instead of buying another one. That's really the goal. But people don't want to. You're, you're, you're asking them to do things they don't want to do. People also don't want insurance rates going up because of catastrophic weather. Catastrophic weather increases because someone doesn't recycle? Sure, because of climate change. Give me a break. Recycling's no climate savior. When Los Angeles mandated recycling, they added 400 polluting garbage trucks. But environmentalists still demand we pick through our trash, switch from plastic to paper bags that rip. California even bans small plastic shampoo bottles. They still think so. Why do you want to make life more difficult for travelers? Some of these rules are just so arbitrary and silly. It's simply a way, I think, for Greens and for some politicians to pretend that they're saving the planet. And it's to just feel absurd. Good, to yeah. It feels like they're doing something. Right, and I think they get a charge out of telling people what to do. I will never tell you what to do. But if you want to, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you get our next video. Thank <laughs> you.